Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am so excited for what's in these boxes right here, but first things first, let me introduce myself. My name is Whitney, and this channel is dedicated towards all things home and helping you create the home of your dreams. I make videos on DIYs, thrift flips, home decor, home renovations, gardening, stuff like that. All right, so today I will be unboxing these boxes. I purchased a whole bunch of bulbs from different vendors around the internet and around the globe. I did a lot of research on finding the bulbs at the best prices. I purchased from four different vendors. I'm gonna show you exactly what I got from each of them, the price breakdown, and I also did a little kind of vision board over on Illustrator of what bulbs are gonna go with what and where. So stay tuned, because I'm gonna show you kind of my vision board for that. Um, these bulbs, I don't think they have pictures with them, so I will put pictures up on the screen so you know what they look like. Before ordering my bulbs, I mapped out all of the individual spaces that I wanted to plant. Then I kind of visualized exactly the height that I wanted. So I wanted to make sure that I had a nice like cascading height of taller items like the alliums that are grow really, really tall, like 70 inches down to tulips, which I'll get into in a second, that can grow like 36 inches and then down into the smaller things all the way down into the crocuses that only grow like two to three inches tall. So if you're struggling with where to start, just go ahead and map out the places that you're looking to plant and then and kind of visualize the different heights that you want for those different spaces. Take measures of how much sun you get. And on all of these websites, you can search by sun requirement. So if you have an area that is full sun, you can select full sun bulbs and then scan through there, see what colors you want, see what height you want, and then order that way. And you can also do shade plants, part shade plants. That's a nice way to kind of narrow it down because there's a ton of choice. And if you're anything like me, you can have like paralysis by analysis and get stuck and not move forward. So a little thing to keep in mind when you're ordering your bulbs, make sure you order bulbs that have kind of like a staggered bloom time. You don't want to order everything that blooms in early spring because mid to late spring to early summer, everything will be kind of empty. So if you have a staggered bloom time, these bulbs will get you into early summer and then you can start your summer gardens. This box is from Color Blends and I found out about Color Blends through Garden Answer. If you guys are looking for a YouTuber, who knows everything about gardening and landscaping and fruit growing and crop growing, go to Garden Answer. Her videos are amazing. I'm pretty sure she makes like five videos a week. I don't know how she does it, but she's phenomenal. So check her videos out. But she was talking about color blends. She orders a lot of her bulbs from color blends and I think she's sponsored by Proven Winners. So a lot of her plants that she plants from actual seedlings she gets from Proven Winners. Color Blends is a wholesale bulb distributor and I think they only have a minimum order of $60. So you do get wholesale prices. The minimum quantities sometimes are a little bit too high. Like there's if there's a certain bulb that you want, sometimes it might have like a 250 bulb minimum or a thousand bulb minimum. I didn't really see a lot of those that kind of stopped me from ordering, but I didn't order a ton from them because they were on the pricier side and just the minimum quantities were a little bit too much. Oh my God, look it. They sent me a starry night magnet. How cute. Thank you, Color Blends. This is their packaging, these little just yellow mesh bags with the tag tied on. So I think I only ordered three varieties from them. One of them is this Spanish bluebells. These are lavender blue. It says the bloom time is late, so I'm guessing late spring. Height is 14 to 18 inches. Plant four inches apart and four inches deep. So they look like little, little potatoes. These ones right here are ivory floridale. They are tulips. They are creamy yellow turning white. They bloom in mid spring. Height is 22 to 24 inches. Plant four inches apart and five inches deep. And this is the one that I'm really excited about. These are the Sorbetto tulips. This is kind of like what inspired me to like do this whole area. So I had, I really wanted to get some of these. So these Sorbetto tulips are pink apricot and soft yellow. They bloom mid spring. Height is 24 to 26 inches. Plant them four inches apart and five inches deep and I got a hundred of these. I'm so excited about these. These are so pretty. They give you a little like planting and care instruction guide, which is really nice. So here is the Color Blends website. Now the ones that I ordered were out of stock, but you can search in this little button over here. There are still a ton of beautiful bulbs available. Just search through the in stock tab and choose from there. 
this Mira Mira and this pink margarita are very similar to that sorbetto blend. So if that was something you were looking for, you could get something pretty similar. I pre-ordered these bulbs in August and even in mid-August, a few of the bulbs that I wanted were sold out, but you can still get your hands on some really beautiful bulbs. Just search around, go to your local stores, a lot of big box stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart. If you're in zone six like me, you still have time to order your bulbs and get them in the ground for next spring. So let's move on to the next box. This box is from Dutch Bulbs. I think the actual name is K van Burgundian. 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 I'm not sure. I don't speak Dutch. Deutsch. I'm finding around things. So this is the plastic kind of ventilated bag that they come in. And it does give you quite a bit of information on the bag itself. These are daffodil gardenia bulbs. They are white with light yellow. They bloom mid to late spring. They like sun, part shade, and the height is 14 to 18 inches. The spacing information is on here. You need to plant these five to six inches apart and the planting depth is six inches. These ones right here are Hyacinth Spring Beauty. These are rose pink double flowers. They bloom early to mid spring. They like sun part shade. They grow eight inches high. Planting spacing is three to six inches and planting depth is six inches. So I have about five to six places around my property that I'm going to be planting and I'm gonna be mixing bulbs from different vendors. So I will show you in the mood board exactly what I'm gonna to put together. These little guys right here are Iris Reticulata. There's 25 in this bag. They are purple blue flowers. They bloom late winter to early spring. Height is six to seven inches. Plant spacing is three to four inches and planting depth is three inches. These big ones right here are Hyacinth Carnegie and I've got 25 of these. They are pure white flowers. They bloom early to mid spring. Sun part shade. Height is eight to 12 inches. Spacing is four to eight inches and planting depth is four inches. Then these ones are Allium Purple Sensation. I got 25 of these. Lilac purple flower head, boom in late spring. They like full sun. Height is 24 to 32 inches. Spacing is 12 to 18 inches. And planting depth is six inches. I got some more Iris Reticulata, but these are the JS Ditched, D-I-J-T. Am I saying that right? Ditched. These are purplish red flowers. They grow six to eight inches high. Planting depth is three to four inches and the plant spacing is three to four inches as well. They bloom late winter to early spring. These ones are Allium Summer Drummer. They are purple with white highlights. They bloom mid to late summer and planting depth is six to eight inches and you plant these 10 to 15 inches apart. And height is up to 70 inches. That's really tall and alliums are kind of really expensive and i did a lot of research on where to find the most inexpensive alliums and i'm pretty sure i got the most inexpensive alliums throughout the gamut then this is a hundred pack of giant crocus pickwick they are white with violet streaks they grow four to six inches high plant three inches deep and three to four inches apart and they flower in the early spring and then these little ones right here are allium Cerulium Azurium. These are a flax blue flower. They bloom early to midsummer. The height is 24 to 28 inches. Planting depth is four to six inches and you plant them four inches apart. So that is the order for Dutch bulbs. Let's move on to the next box. So this is dutchbulbs.com and it does seem like they still have quite a few bulbs in stock. Now, like I was saying before, you can search by all of these search parameters up here. So for instance, you can pick your zone. I happen to be in zone six. So you can search by these parameters. You can search if you know exactly what you're looking for. You can search in this little tab over here and just peruse and let the flowers speak to you and create the garden of your dreams. Look at how pretty these ones are. This Dutch Iris Beauty Mix. Oh my God, I can't. I've already spent my budget for this. Look at these double daffodil replete. Ugh. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get off the website. Oh my God. So this box is from Eden Brothers. They are based out of North Carolina and I got one, two, three, four, five different varieties of bulbs in this box. So this is the packaging, it comes in a little plastic bag and the bulbs are in some sawdust to keep them dry. These are hyacinth bulbs. This is the wood hyacinth mix. They grow six to 12 inches tall. Planting depth is five inches. It blooms March to April. They like sun and partial shade. And they are a mixed color assortment. Two bags of those. What are these? So I don't know how you say this. Anemone, anemone, anemone. 
like a sea anemone. So these little guys are anemones, I think, in the Blanda mix. They grow six to 12 inches high. Planting depth is two inches. They bloom in spring. They like sun and partial shade and the colors are white, pink, and blue. Ooh, I remember, I don't remember what a lot of these look like, but I remember these ones. These are the Tulip Angelique. These look so pretty. So Eden Brothers is a little bit more expensive than the rest, but they do have really interesting tulips. So if you're gonna only get like a small bag, like 10 of these tulips, it's kind of worth that investment because they're so unique. So these grow 14 to 20 inches high. Planting depth is five inches, blooms May through June. They like sun and partial shade and they are pink. And I remember these two, these are really pretty. These are tulip bulbs in the Victoria's Secret mix. They grow 14 to 20 inches high. Planting depth is five inches. They bloom from April through May and they like sun and partial shade and the colors are pink and purple. So I was just envisioning that sorbetto blend with a little Angelique and a little bit of the Victoria's Secret. Fairy tale. And I only got 10 of those, but I did get 20 of these. These are tulip bulbs as well in the double pink mix. They grow 14 to 20 inches high. Planting depth is five inches. They bloom May through June and they like sun and partial shade. And the colors are pink, white, and purple. And since these are double blooms, I got 20 of them because I felt like they'd really increase the fluffiness of the garden. That does not make sense, but you know. And they sent me a little free gift. This is an annual mix of seeds, marigolds, cosmos, cornflowers, and zinnias. I'm loving my little free gifts. This is from Color Blends. This is from Eden Brothers. Dutch bulbs didn't send me a gift. Here is the Eden Brothers website. It is just so pretty. Now, if you go over here to flower bulbs and perennials, search new for fall 2020. Look at how pretty. Oh my God, look, look. Look, I mean, it is just stunning. Like, look it, look it. That Merlot Melody mix. It is, I mean, just like out of this world. Look at, I've never seen a peony like that before. Oh my God. One is $44.95. What? Okay, a bag of 20 for 25. Okay, that makes sense. But the one for 45, that's crazy town. I mean, just like, have you ever seen tulips like this before? They're, it's just like, uh -huh. So it would be like a hundred bucks just to get this amount right here. Dear God, bless me with money so I can spend it all on flowers. Moving on to the last box. Now, the packaging is very similar and the websites are very similar between Michigan bulbs and Dutch bulbs. I'm pretty sure they're kind of owned by the same company. I don't know if the bulbs come from the same warehouse, but the Michigan bulbs website, I feel like was way cheaper. So there is a little thing in here from Brex. So when I was searching for wholesale bulbs, Brex kept coming up a lot. So I'm guessing that the cave on Burgundian, Dutch bulbs, Michigan bulbs, and Brex it's probably owned by the same company. For sure, it is the same exact packaging. All right, this is a pink daffodil mix. This is the Narcissus pink mix. Minimal three varieties. They are white and pink. Uh, plant six inches deep, four to six inches apart. They grow 16 to 18 inches high and they bloom mid spring. Are a double daffodil mix. In Narcissus, mix of variety colors. They bloom March through May, sun part shade. Height is 12 to 18 inches, spacing is four inches, planting depth is six inches. These little tiny ones are mixed glory of the snow. Mix of blue, pink, white, they bloom early spring, sun part shade, height six to seven inches, spacing two to three inches, and planting depth is three inches. I thought those would be really pretty because they grow kind of short around like road frontage or they'd be down at the bottom of your height slope from like alliums to tulips to daffodils to these mixed glory of the snow and then into crocus, which I think are in here too. These are a grape hyacinth super bag. I got 50 of these in the Muscari. Blue white mix, they bloom mid spring, sun to part shade, height six to eight inches, spacing two inches and planting depth of three inches. And these little guys are early blooming crocus. This is the crocus chrysanthemum. They grow four to five inches in height plant them three inches deep, spacing is two to three inches, and they like full sun to shade. So this would be the last little tiny guy that's in the height slope. 
And these are some more alliums. Now, Michigan Bulbs, I think, had the best pricing on the alliums. So I got a bag of 15 of these because you can, these can be like $35 for like five. So these are purple and white. They bloom late spring and early summer. Sun to part shade. Height is 24 to 36 inches. Plant spacing is four inches and planting depth is six inches. These little ones were a freebie when I ordered. I got 10 of them. These are the Crocus Firefly. They are a snow crocus, a lilac flowers, end of winter, sun to part shade, height four to five inches, spacing three inches, planting depth two inches. So this was a nice little freebie, but they didn't just send this. I had to like claim the free gift at checkout. So I'm excited about these two. So this is kind of like an overwhelmingly lot about a bulb, but I have a plan. So let's hop on over to the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna put with what. So maybe it'll give you a little bit of inspiration when you're designing your own flower beds. So here is my little garden plan. I know you guys can't see anything in super detail yet. I'm gonna zoom in just so you can see the overview. I have four different art boards of different areas that I will be planting. Let's just start off with a simple one. This is the moon garden. And moon garden is essentially just planting all white flowers. So when you have a full moon outside, it kind of glows. And it's like a little whimsical romantic thing that happens. So I just took the pictures from the websites themselves. They're a little pixelated, but that's fine. It's just for me. Taking the pictures from the actual website helped out a lot so I could put them next to each other. So I just either screenshot them or just downloaded them from the website itself. For the text over here, the information that I added was the name of the flower, the distributor, this is CB is color blends, how many I purchased, the sun requirement, and the height. So that way I could see that everything I was ordering was in the right sun requirement and I had a variety of heights. So for the moon garden, I ordered tulips, daffodils, and hyacinths. And I have dahlias right now that I will be overwintering. And I'm going to get some white roses in the spring. So I think that will be a nice little white themed moon garden. Something I definitely recommend is to name the areas that you will be planting, especially if you have somebody helping you. So instead of describing an area by the walkway around the corner by the back door, you could say moon garden. It's just a little bit easier and that's kind of fun. So the areas I have are moon garden, south bend, north entrance. That's kind of boring. It'll probably change hopefully. And then I have an area I cannot decide on the name if I should call it Cherry Hill or Yucca Point because there is a cherry tree and there's a couple yucca plants. And then Rodeo Drive is part of the driveway that leads up to where a couple of rhododendrons are. So if you made it this far in the video, let me know in the comments below by casting your vote for either Cherry Hill or Yucca Point. Let me know which one you guys like better. Moving around to South Bend, this is an area on the south driveway that gets mostly full sun, but there is an area that gets quite a bit of shade. So I have mostly full sun and then these can handle part shade as well. So I think these will work out, I hope. This is a little bit more of a moodier vibe with the darker purples and the blues, but I wanted to keep it a little bit light with the sorbetto and some of these double daffodils, but you know, mostly in the purple and blue family with a little bit of pink and yellow. All right, moving into the north entrance. I wanted this to be like very pretty, very sweet, very whimsical. So I stuck with pinks and purples and just, you know, precious colors. If you guys were looking to replicate something like this, let me just explain my little coating. DB is Dutch Bulbs, EB is Eden Brothers, MB is Michigan Bulbs, and CB is Color Blends. And then moving down to Cherry Hill, Yucca Point, this is what I got going down here. And I want to add in some Creeping Jenny along this little stone wall, which I think would be so pretty. Just a little bit of greenery to break up all of this like precious pastels. And then on Rodeo Drive, when the trees get their foliage, it does tend to get pretty shady. So I want to add in some evergreen ferns, some sedum, and some hostas. But the Spanish bluebells will be kind of mixed in with there. Most of the areas are a mix of different vendors. Then I split up the 100 pack of the giant crocus and also the 100 pack of the sorbetto between two different areas. South Bend and North Entrance has 50 of each of the tulip sorbettos. And then the North Entrance and the Cherry Hill Yucca Point area are also splitting up a bag of 100. Well, I hope this video helps you guys out. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will answer them as best as I can. But happy planting. Let me know how it goes in the spring and I will be sure to do a follow-up video in the spring to let you know the germination and how all of this thing goes for me. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration for your own flower beds and please consider subscribing and joining the Whitney fan because I'd love to have you here and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!